Cooper Vision, a Henrietta company, celebrates a huge expansion today. The new expansion is for packaging and storage, all to keep up with demand. Business and development reporter Dan Gross got an inside look there today and filed this report. Cooper Vision makes contact lenses at facilities around the world and in Scottsville. But here in this Henrietta location, says Senior Director of American Distribution, Jim Friano. We will take the lenses and we will pack them into our products, you know, some of our world leading products that we have here. Um, and from there, we will put them into distribution storage and we will distribute to about 45 to 50 different countries every single month out of West Henrietta. Last year, the total was 700 million and this year they've already packaged 1 billion goods. They've been at this Henrietta location since 2006. The process to start the expansion, that was in 2021 and they broke ground on it last year. This expansion, it's 150,000 square feet and it represents a nearly $38 million investment for the company. It has literally tons more space for storage and we're going to be adding in six more packaging lines. 80% of the company's U.S. workforce is based in the greater Rochester area, and they say this expansion will help both the business and their employees. It's here. It's working. Um, you know, we're, we're excited for it. Employees are excited for it. Um, you know, we have the office space down here. You know, one of the things we were talking about was that uh, employees wanted a fitness center, so we've put a fitness center in here, right? So, you know, as we're growing with our you know, demand, we also want to make sure that it's a good place to work for our employees. So we've done some things to, to, to make it more beneficial for them as well. They currently employ about 630 people in that facility, and this expansion, they say, will lead to even more job growth. And yes, they are hiring. We have a link for their careers page on rochesterfirst.com. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.